Good morning, everybody. Rifle Cherry here. This is uh, going to be another shooting video, but not the kind of shooting video you're probably used to. Probably not used to seeing from me. I'm currently on a rifle range. A very old rifle range. You can see in the background, it's forested. How could it possibly be a rifle range? Well, this is a range from World War II. I'm quite often asked, Richard, what does Maple Leaf Up stand for? You know, it's my catchphrase. Well, I'll tell you what, I didn't think of it. Many years ago, I'd heard people use the term Maple Leaf Up, and I never really knew what it meant. And um, I decided I wanted to find out what it meant, because I liked it. I liked the sound of Maple Leaf Up. Sounds positive, go Canada kind of thing, right? So, here's what it means. A few of you have asked as well. After the invasion of Normandy, Canadians from Juneau Beach ventured eastwards, southwards into Western Europe and into France, into Holland, into Western Germany. And the first Canadian army was the spearhead of kind of the Canadian contribution. And <clears throat> they had to be resupplied. So they figured out a way of signing various roads so that uh, munitions, resupply, uh, reinforcements, uh, food, all of the things you need to keep a, an ever-shifting front line active and on the go and progressing all the different things that you need you need transport corridors to, to sustain and maintain equipment and men and so they developed a sign system it's called the maple leaf highway in order for you to get towards the first canadian army you'd have to follow the signs that said maple leaf up and you were loaded with supplies if you wanted to return to France and to the shore, you had to follow the highway Maple Leaf down. And they were all signed, it's all signed with a big Maple Leaf on them. If you were empty and you were going Maple Leaf down, you were going to resupply uh, in Western France, or you were probably loaded as an ambulance with wounded soldiers. Maple Leaf up, you're heading towards the war. You're heading towards victory. Maple Leaf down, you're going in the opposite direction. So my catchphrase is Maple Leaf up. I'm not glorifying war. But what I am doing is every time I use that catchphrase, I'm thinking of them. I'm thinking all of, all of them. Canadians. So a little bit more about where I am right now. I'm on a rifle range here in my hometown. This whole area was originally bulldozed flat and it was a 600 yard military range with mounds every 100 yards. And uh, I'm going to show you one of the mounds. Sorry, I'm drinking my black coffee. No half-calf, cappuccino, zappacano, zappuccino, whatever they are. Just good old-fashioned black coffee for me. Got from a gas station, no less. Okay, here's a good spot. I'll set up the camera and let you have a look. So here we are. This is the 300-yard mound. You know, I'd like to come through here with... Uh, a metal detector, just to see what I can find underneath the duff. I bet you this place is just scattered with brass. You can imagine Canadian soldiers run up and down these these lanes, carrying Enfields and Bren guns and support weapons, and plopping themselves down on this bank here and engaging a target. It kind of puts me in touch because this is history 
This is something I can touch, I can visualize, being a person who's shot on military ranges quite a bit in the past. But going back to the 1940s and being able to visualize them doing it, it's kind of a special place for me. And indeed, in my trips over to Britain, as a Canadian, we don't often have areas that we can touch and, and see and, and smell where Canadians base themselves on. And I think that's important for Canadians. It's part of our heritage, it's part of our history. <clears throat> we can't see it all the time because all of those wars happened over there. You don't really get to appreciate the contribution Canadians made until you see it, until you see the tombstones, until you see the air bases they worked on, until you see the pictures, um, walk through the, the hangars and the, uh, the briefing rooms, the Quonset huts. You can almost hear them, you can almost see them. That's the kind of history I'm talking about. And if you ever have the opportunity to go to a war memorial over in Britain or in France, do it. It will enrich you as a Canadian or as an American. And you'll walk out with a different perspective on your country. So when I say Maple Leaf Up, I'm thinking of them. It's right for chair signing off. And as always, Maple Leaf Up.